Welcome back to another episode. Uh, this episode I'm going to be building this site portable workbench, worktop, knockdown bench, clamp table, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's all made with a router and a homemade router jig. Um, but before we go into the build, I'd just like to say a big shout out and thank you to Peer Clamps over in Spain and also Peer UK. Sphinx Industries over in the UK here, um, up in Coventry. So a uh, huge thank you for your support, your ongoing support, and um, your awesome clamps. Stick around, and let's see how this was built. We decided to use a 25mm sheet of MDF. With hindsight, I should have gone for 18. That was, that was gonna come back and bite me later on because of the, the thickness of the board. And I'll, I'll explain that in, in a little while. But, um, First thing I did was, was work out roughly where I wanted the holes to be uh, be centred so that I didn't have too big a gap or not quite enough land at any one end of the end the board and basically spaced them out fairly um, fairly evenly. So I used a um, just a little scrap piece of um, of wood just to give me the the distance between holes as a rough mark and then I could use that to then to, to mark out where the holes were going to be and it actually worked out in the end that rather than have one row down the, the centre line of the board it was actually going to be sp spread eagled over either side. So I marked that all out and then it gave me an idea I wanted to line the holes up. Marked that first row and then squared it off from the uh, from the edge with a square. In fact, I actually messed it up and uh, you see me marking it twice because I marked the line of the holes and not the uh, the line of the jig to get that first first row. Jig was made with my CNC machine quite easy to make this with just a router and a circle cutting jig and if, if there is genuine interest then um, I can do a video on that. So with a 30mm guide bush and the quarter inch cutter the jig will let me cut 20mm holes and they're exactly, they are very good, very close to, to 20mm. Actually um, the first row here I decided that for future jigs I'd want to make a, a slight adjustment by cutting some slots in so I could get the the clamps further over towards the edge of the board for the first set of um, cuts. That way you don't have to keep moving the, uh, the clamps around on the end because they get in the way there for the, the very end holes. Once that first row's done, I can just use the, the line-up pegs that are going to be clamped later on to mark the, the subsequent rows. This is a bit frustrating towards the end because I started to notice that the, the jig must be out by ever such a small amount and by using the previous set of holes that error then gets compounded down the line for future jigs i'll probably make at least three maybe four rows of, of holes or as many as i can to reduce that error right at the end you see it's actually about five mil out from the start point to the finish point so divide that by 12 gives you the the error of the jig which is about half a mil Once all the uh, the holes were, were done, I just checked them to see how much of a, an error there was with the square. It doesn't affect the use of it for clamping and things like that. It just means that I can't put two rows of dogs in at a right angle and then have anything butted up to its square because obviously the holes don't line up quite as well. I decided to cut four hand holes. This will be portable, so just using a, a pre-existing jig that I had kicking around and the, the quarter inch cutter cut out four little hand holes because it's going to be a portable item so I want to make it easy to, to cut it around where I've got to go. Next thing I decided to do was actually cut some, some slots in the end so that I can clamp the, the top to my saw horses. So I'm just setting up a little jig here to uh, make it nice and easy. Once it's all set up, I can just cut the, the two slots and then spin it round. For some reason, the camera didn't film this, but uh, all that's for is just to, to cut those slots in. I'm about 98% pleased with how it turned out. It's 100% good enough for, for what I'm going to use it for and what I plan to use it for. So uh, it's going to get cut up, it's going to get views, so there will be another build of it down the line and those 2% um, errors I'm going to um, hopefully sort out for, for the next one. 
I'm using the, the pier clamps. These are the clamps that, um, that work on my, on my track saw. Obviously they fit into the holes. Clamp things down. Um, I've also got the advantage of using the, the German clamps, Vestal ones, holes. They're quite tight at the moment, if I'm honest. I probably could have made them a little bit, um, a little bit less of a tight tolerance, um, but they're plenty good enough for what I want. And if I do want to make them a little bit bigger, then all I've got to do is just basically remount the holes on the, uh, the jig ever so. But they work for clamping things in nice and tight so they won't move. The hand holds I've rounded over, again you didn't see me do this, um, I've rounded over the, the edges top and bottom of the board and also around the hand holds as well. That's just with a bearing guided round over bit, nothing really technical or difficult about that, it just makes it a little bit more user friendly. I may in the future round off the edges because obviously they're quite a sharp tight corner. One thing I had to do on on this because I've used 25mm MDF not 18 it was a little bit tight getting it through the holes because of the thickness of the hole and the length of the clamp even even like that with a longer clamp because these are the shortest ones available with the longer versions it's going to be at an angle so there's going to be more clearance but I've actually put a chamfer on the bottom of these holes as well so I still use these with full thickness of the, the little lugs um, but it just gives a little bit of a, a reveal to get these clamps down on there so it's all nice and secure. What I envisage using this for is for clamping bits of work down like this and, and cutting over. So I've got a small workbench that I can take with me. But all in all, that's, um, yeah, that's it, that's done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you back here next time. I've got some good videos coming out, so do stay tuned for those. Um, and a special showcase video coming out if it's not already out. Probably people you've never heard of. So uh, we'll see you next time.